I think a lot of the responsibility, if someone's actually going to class, lies in the teacher. So, like, if you as a teacher, you only focus on, like, what kind of cool pattern can I throw at my students today, they're not going to get that love for the basic or the understanding of why it's important. Okay. Um, so, you know, like, maybe you give them one flashy thing and you explain every single part of what goes into that one thing instead of giving someone in a 60-minute class eight, eight counts of stuff. Okay. Just sending them out into the world, you know. So- I'm sorry to interrupt you, but let me ask you this: um, Is it is the burden somewhat on the student as well? Because you know, if you're if you have two teachers and you have you see one teacher doing nothing but the flashy stuff, and another teacher focusing on the basics, oh, yeah. absolutely. I think it's not. Is, it, is that just the dance community as a whole? Yeah, but I've seen the like. We have we're really lucky in DC. We have a lot of really great. DC's teams. got an amazing dance scene. And you notice that, like, when the teachers love the basic and they stress the basics to their students, their students also love and practice. Okay, okay, okay. And so I guess that's what I mean. It's like, as a teacher, like, we have a responsibility. Like, if we love the basic and we take the time to talk about it, then our students are going to love it and understand why it's important. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? And then yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, it, it is, of course, on the student, because if you as a person don't care about the basics, right. you just want to be able to do all this cool stuff, it doesn't matter how good the teacher is. You're going to want to do what you want to do. You'll probably keep going until you find someone or a source like YouTube or something where you can get what you want. Uh, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense.